wanted to feel sorry for myself, I'd have stayed with your father. Oh, that is quite a drop. Let me help you down. I've got this. broken or bleeding. It'll calm down. It always does. Let's go. The kid said the ward was this way. You ever hear about the North Pole? That old fairy tale? Yeah. Like this ward. Old white guy pounds it. Food and fresh water everyone gets along. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like the fairy tale to me. It's probably just a couple of old timers holed up underground. I just hope they got a few supplies for trade. Otherwise, we won't last much longer. <laughs> you think people actually live like this? Uh, <laughs> uh, not sure. I don't know what's in that Fulton's original blend, but I never seen nobody that happy before. Not in real life. <laughs> mm -hmm. can't turn back now. Ain't got nowhere to go. There's gotta be another way through. about time. What took you? Hey, look at this. What happened to these poor bastards? bum ankle of yours. Won't help me none. Hey, come on. Let's get some distance between us and the huh. <sighs> Over here.
a side of rock. A side of what? Nothing. <clears throat> Something Mama used to say. Starting to think looking for this ward wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> like this out here no nope. maybe best we head back we retrace our steps we can find another way out
That's all I got. You're on your own now. Hey, I mean, we still got each other. <laughs> It's not far from here, but the way down collapsed behind us. We're gonna have to find another way out. Shooting traveler. Yeah, I had some practice. I'll bet. 
But don't worry. The ward's as safe a place as any. Safer. So... It's really real. Food, and water, and... Folks living with some old white guy? <sighs> More or less. <coughs> whoa, whoa, let me get you some water. Uh, I'm fine, I... Uh, uh, Pass. Ooh, that looks like root rot. Uh, I've never seen a case this bad. I'm fine. I don't know why everyone... Uh, uh, we need to get her to work. Uh, uh, quick. <coughs> Doctor, there's her only chance. We'd better get moving. Before we lose the light. Take good care of her. Welcome to War 13. Hey, don't worry. Riggs is right. She'll be fine. Are you okay? Just a headache. Hey, hey, Clementine. Uh, let me get you some water. I'm fine. Oh, you're not fine. You need rest. Oh. He's the ward's mayor. Thinks that puts him in charge of everything and everyone. Listen, I'm gonna check in with Ford, and then I'll get some rest, okay? I've been through a lot worse, you know. So, uh, Traveler, um, <clears throat> your friend will be fine. I'm Bo. Bo Ward, and this is Ward 13. You must have come a long way. I mean, the route's dwindling and all, but the road's still a dangerous place. What were you two doing out there? For the ward? Really? Huh. I didn't know anybody knew what we were doing here. <laughs> we've just, uh... Well, we've been cut off from the world for so long that... Well, I'm surprised people know about us outside the gate. Feels kind of nice, actually. Hey, ask around if you need something. Oh, start with Ford. I'm sure he'd like to meet you. You know... It, it's strange how quiet it is here some days. Like, nothing's going on. alive around here me? you know you're lucky they yeah, found you when they me. did yeah. your friend was pretty bad yeah, I got her just in time here. she's great a real spitfire that to one that I'd uh, hang on to her if I were you so beautiful you can like what everything you, listen I don't care what you two are you I'm just saying there, don't lose it uh, whatever it is that girl's it's tough all right the way but right <sighs> now she needs rest Right. When she's up and about, I'll Brad. make sure you know. That's too bad. 
You don't talk much about life before the war. See you around. What you did and all. for your permission? Watch your tone, young lady. Excuse me? I'm a hundred... Uh, <clears throat> we'll talk about this later. Out of my way. Whoa, what have we here? Ah, the... Traveler, of course. Wallace said... Yes. Right on time. Sorry you had to see that. But then again, you've been around. I'm sure you know. Families fight. Andrew Ford. Good to make your acquaintance. In the flesh. Huh, how about that? I'm sure you've got a lot of questions, and I've got a favor to ask. So let's get to it. You first. Quite a few characters around here. I'll warrant you that. Arguing's not the same as fighting. Clem and I have known each other longer than anyone else here. That's a lot of water to put under a narrow bridge. Nosebleeds, headaches, and I worry about worse. Things we can't see so easy. <sighs> it's not like there's a manual. Don't think there's a soul in town has lost as much as Riggs. Don't know how that man gets up out of bed every day. But he does. And we're damn thankful. Wallace? He's a special kid. A lot like... Somebody I used to know. She had bad dreams, too. Dreams about things that hadn't yet come to pass. It's more like he can see really far into the present. Sometimes. Compared to who? <laughs> Bo might be young. But he knows the run of a ward. Learned from the best. He was orphaned. Just a kid. Ward 13. Sort of adopted him. Ran security when he got old enough. Did a damn good job of it. Only made sense to put him in charge once we started up here. All right, then. Shoot. Ah, uh, not you precisely. As in name, rank, serial number. But I knew someone was coming. Aren't you clever? Skeptic. That's fine. It so happens I knew you'd be coming today. Or I hoped. Our young Wallace told me. All right, traveler. Now that you've shot your shot, here's mine. I need an able young scrapper to help an old man out. Talk to Wally. You'll find him out by the docks. After that, gear up, and then meet me at the ward gate. I'll tell you a story. I'm not talking about this right now. run in circles by now. Oh, Traveler, I heard you're helping out the Founder. <laughs> 
Kinda makes you a legend yourself. Yeah, the commander thought so. I mean, eventually. The founder can be eccentric, but you can't argue with his results. Just gear up and be safe, okay? I'm, I'm saving you a spot on garden duty when you get back, huh? <laughs> Those carrots ain't gonna pull themselves. Stay safe, traveler. You'll find Wally out by the old docks. See you, Traveler. You're the one Ford's been waiting for. Though, he doesn't know he's been waiting. He thinks he needs help. It's her who needs it. You know. And you don't. Sorry, I shouldn't say. Things get... messier when I tell them. I'm Wallace. Did I say that yet? Probably. The sight, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I probably said that already, too. You have a path to walk. You choose the first step here, but your path can change if you want it to. a lot of sense now. You're right, of course. Your path is waiting. Tell Brabus and McCabe I sent you. They have what you need. They're the next step on your journey. Until next time.
traipsing in here like you own the place. That boy what talks to the root? <laughs> I don't trust Wally with a hot meal. But I also ain't dumb enough to cross him. I don't reckon he was any more specific. Right. Well, the boy's crazy, but he ain't stupid. And I can see your gear is, uh, lacking, to say the least. If he asks, you tell him I gave you this. Uh, no charge. Ah, Riggs is gonna talk my ear off if I don't send you over to him next, isn't he? Fine. Go see Riggs, then. Tell him he can do whatever the hell he wants. See, you're all right. What can I do for you? That's right, but everybody calls me Riggs. I try to keep folks safe out there. My specialty is armor and weapons upgrades. Speaking of which, Bo mentioned you might need some help getting your feet back onto you. Well, whatever you need, don't be afraid to ask. We all help each other out here. <laughs> Even McCabe. I don't suppose he was more particular about why. Ha, huh. yeah, that sounds like Pravis. Right. Well, I've got a pretty focused skill set. I reckon I know what he means. Come to me if you ever need to upgrade your equipment. Send you over here, or did you stumble your way over here yourself? Well, if there isn't a first time for everything. All right, new kid, let me save you some time. I'm McCabe. I like to keep to myself and my work. My work happens to be tinkering and modding weapons. And that's already more information than I like giving out. Understand? You're serious, aren't you? All right, so what the hell is this journey? I swear, if that boy weren't so goddamn right all the time, he and I'd be having words, percussive ones. Fine. Well, the only reason anyone bothers me is because I'm good with a hammer. So either I can modify your weapons, or we can find a more creative use for it. <laughs> Tell you what. I heard you picked up something strange on your little jaunt earlier. Maybe I could do something with it. journey he saw you on just tell wally to be more specific next time yeah so we're done here right or do i need the hammer again oh it's a miracle all right let's have a look <sighs> look it's not personal i just don't like being distracted i get into a zone you know Pisses me off when people come by and interrupt my me time. But I'll tell you what. You're clearly not the average stray that shows up here. So I'll make you a deal. You find anything interesting out there, bring it back to me and I'll see if I can use it to mod your weapons. Oh, and if you tell anyone I was nice to you, I will cut you. Uh, what can I do for you? Certainly. So long.
treating you. They could treat you worse if you like. Keep your gun loaded and your wits about you. You could help an old man take on the world. <laughs> you ready to do this? Right. Let's see what dangers still lurk in the old ward. <laughs> This used to be a research facility, cutting edge. We did things down here nobody dreamed of. Not before nor since. Yeah, for all our manpower, we didn't know what the stones really were. Until it was too late. The stones? Huh. The world stones. Giant red crystals that let us see into other worlds. Even travel to them. So, what? We just hide the stones away, and hope the Soviets haven't found their own. <laughs> no, we had to know everything there was to know about them. <laughs> it was a matter of national security, of pride. So, yeah, we opened the door and walked through. But something was waiting on the other side. It didn't happen right away. Hell. The inhabitants of the worlds we traveled to couldn't follow us. We thought we were safe. But yeah, the root found a way. After that, well, we locked, huh? Well, this is my house. Come on. I gave Helen a few things to hang on to in case of emergency. Uh, she must have hidden it around here somewhere. Come on, Ellie, where'd you hide it? That red thing. We call it a dragon heart. <laughs> Don't ask why. Take it with you. You might need it. Take a look at that matchbook you found. I got a hunch. Let's get this door unlocked. Can't stand around all day. as useful as the whole. We shut it down after Harsgard died. Like I told Ellen at the time, the damn thing's more dangerous than useful. Huh. Of course not. Uh, never mind. Now, let's see if that worked. Worked to do what exactly?
people to bury this place. Now just lock it away, but get some explosives and bury it in a tomb of concrete. More dangerous than useful, traveler. Remember that. Don't you do it! Oh, this is so stupid. 